Hi there, it's Chris Kramer coming to you today from Miami City Ballet and I am here with soloist Callie Manning. I want to speak to Callie today about her experience filming for great performances, Dance in America. Callie, so this was a really big deal for Miami City Ballet. Uh, they filmed for great performances last week. Yeah. And um, they filmed three different ballets, which were, was uh, George Balanchine's uh, Western Symphony and Square Dance, along with Twyla Tharp's The Golden Section. Yeah. So tell us, uh, what pieces were you involved with? Um, I'm part of Golden Section, and I also do the third movement in Western Symphony, which is actually strange because most companies don't do third movement anymore and I think it's because it's really hard. <laughs> it is really it's hard. Part of, of the reason why they don't do it. Third movement of Western Symphony is a lot of jumping. You used to do it with me. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of jumping. It is All very jumping. exciting and yeah. it, it's fun. It's fun. It's, it's hard though. <laughs> it's super hard. It's super exhausting. You finish with like jello legs, you know. Yeah. Tell us, what is it like to perform for TV cameras versus a live audience? It's very different. Um, it's funny because I feel like the audience gives you so much energy that you have to kind of muster up from memory when you do it for TV. And for TV, you don't want to project like you would project in a theater because it's almost too much. Like you don't want to smile as big as you would smile and you don't want to you know, do things that are so it would just look silly on TV if yeah. people were doing like these big faces like we normally do on stage. So you kind of have to figure out like a, a good balance. You know, I totally know what you mean. I'm wondering yeah. if like anyone watching would know what you meant. Like, I think as a dancer, right, when you're on stage, it, it, there's always this idea of look up to the last person in the balcony. Exactly. Make sure you see every single person yeah. in the audience. You know, it's like this big uh, presentation it's when you come out big. onto stage. It's very big. It's much bigger than you do when they've got a camera in your face. If you did that, it would just look kind of cheesy. Yeah. But it, yeah. It, you have to figure out a balance. Exactly. So. Like, what about like makeup and stuff? I mean, did you have to do the same sort of makeup you yeah. would in a normal theater, or we was it different? We kind of did the same makeup. They had some makeup artists there and some hair people, which was nice. Um, they could touch us up in between takes, and they actually gave us some tips, makeup tips for TV. Like, some things that we were doing, we don't finish our lines on the bottom of our eyes, and one of the makeup ladies was saying that it looks weird when you get up close, that you kind of want to finish things. So they would fix us and fix mm. our lipstick and because when you're in there for like you know five hours filming your lipstick kind of comes off after a while so they were always putting lipstick on us and blotting everybody down but we all kind of did our own makeup and what about the stage was it similar to say performing at the arch center or no it was a, kind of a strange shape it was a little bit narrower than we're used to and a little bit deeper so it kind of made formations a little bit strange. They just felt weird mm -hmm. because we're used to, m most theaters are wider and shallower. So it was kind of the opposite. Mm -hmm. So when we would do like a big semicircle, the semicircle was really deep instead of normally it's a little bit wider. So some of that was kind of strange. We had our own floor. Mm -hmm. So we had the sprung floor, which was good because if not, we would have been on yeah, you, concrete. You, you needed that. <laughs> And for the filming, they had to do the, the wings weren't flat in like we're used to. They were all angled and they were all painted, which was gorgeous. It was really cool. And when we could see the clips that they had been filming, it looked phenomenal. But it makes it a little weird for when you're going to like do a big jump into the wing. And normally you want to go straight off, but they were like at an angle. So people were jumping. You just have to like for, adjust. Especially for the golden section too, no. which I know you, there's a ton of jumping into the curtain, jumping out of the curtain. Being thrown um, in. Being, exactly. Yeah. So that must have been challenging or to Or running use. off backwards. A lot of us run off backwards. Oh, wow. And so you start running off and then you realize that you have to turn at some point or you're going to take out the, the wing. Out of the whole um, filming experience, what would you say was the absolute most challenging of, of this experience for you? I think stamina-wise. For, like third movement. Third movement was definitely the hardest day, I think, for a lot, all of us involved because we just kept doing it over and over and over again. Was it, in a sense, comforting that, hey, if, if I messed up this time, we, we have another three takes to do and I can make it better? That's, versus it's you don't true. have that in a performance? No, in a performance, if you mess up, that's it. Like, you don't get another shot. So if something didn't go right, that's true. You did kind of go, oh, well, the last one was good or 
I'll try next time to fix that. So that was true. That, mm -hmm. that was nice to have that backup. And, and what about filming? Did you get the same kind of nervousness to go out there and dance in front of the camera that you would during a performance or? I didn't, I didn't feel that. Cause it's, yeah, like, like you said, on stage you have that one go. If you mess up that turn, it's done. Like you can't fix it. So I wasn't as nervous, I felt like I was more nervous for getting through the days because they were just long days, lots of on your feet. And that's, I heard, I heard the company was awesome, you know, um, the company worked so well together oh, and, yeah. you know, it's family. not easy days, but you guys were all excited to do no. it. And, and just... everyone's pumping each other up. I mean, at one point, one of our therapists was doing like some cowboy <laughs> dance for everybody because she could just tell that everyone was getting really tired. So she was like, I'm going to go and boost everyone's spirit. Was this during Western fun. Symphony that she was doing a cowboy dance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she like cowboy danced across the, the front of the, the set and everyone laughed and it was perfect. Like yeah. we, everyone kind of needed it at that point, you know. We don't know when uh, this is going to air, mm. but it will eventually. Um, are you nervous about seeing yourself Love on it. TV? <laughs> well, it's hard. It's hard even for me to watch myself dance on like our videos that we use for rehearsals. If I see myself, it's like, oh, oh, you could have done that better. And, you know. Those are really bad quality, and this is like an HD, so <laughs> I don't know. It's, I'm a little bit nervous to see. We'll see. It's exciting. It's going to be great. It's really exciting. It's gonna be Dancers are so hard on themselves, too. Oh, I yeah. Mean, they constantly look at themselves and criticize everything. Oh, I could have done that so much better, and I can't believe I my looked like that, or it everything. felt different. Um, but my Every detail. It always looks amazing. All right, well, it was really great to talk to you. Um, you we too. certainly look forward to seeing this um, on PBS when we yeah. find out when the date is going to be, and we look forward to uh, seeing you. Thanks for talking Thanks. to us. Sure.